I'm sure most of you guys know we've been all following it since it kickstarted, and then we've been following your journey from that to Tribeca, which uh, you guys did a world premiere last week, and I'm super excited. And now we get to see uh, the West Coast right here. Uh, can we get the beautiful and talented director, uh, Salima Karoma, to say a few words? Thank you guys so much for coming. I really want to start this because we were supposed to start at 9.30. So I know you guys are ready to watch this film. We've been doing it for four years. We've been shooting this. Um, you know, a lot of, I see a lot of faces um, who were in the film who are here tonight. Thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you everybody who supported our Indiegogo campaign. Um, and just like my, I'm, I see like my old coworkers and my old people from UCLA and just all the love that we feel, it's, it's dope. So thank you guys, I hope you guys enjoy this film. Um, and let me know what you guys think of it after, after the show. Enjoy. Hey, what's up, it's Progress. Kev Nish, we're from Far East Movements. Hi. You really can relate to Bad Rap. I think just overall, you know, being artists, being starting out, you know, obviously being Asian American, uh, there's a lot, a lot of parallels, uh, especially to uh, the problems that they face, the opportunity, lack of opportunities, and but you know, more than anything, just from this movie and actually knowing Dumb uh, lyrics, Wreck, Aquafina, there needs to be a Bad Rap too because what they're doing already from since when this movie was finished and ended till now it's like they're they're really changing their own games and they're really taking it to the next level so i i hope there's a follow-up and people can see like some of the amazing stuff they're doing oh definitely the beastie boys i'm wearing my x lars today as representation i mean that's a group that really didn't you know care about anything you know they'd make an instrumental album they would make rap albums they would make music videos like they'd go on tour with madonna it didn't really matter for them and that's kind of what that's that's what this guy's like, obviously, and um, you know, definitely inspired us to try and take risks. I love Forest Movement. We love Rex Tizzy. We should. Thank you. Thank you for talking with me. Hey, what's going on? My name is Rex Tizzy from New York. Currently in LA. I'm in the movie Bad Rap. Thank you. Um, what are your big influences as far as an artist? <laughs> My big influences actually um, are artists like Devin the Dude, uh, Old Dirty Bastard, and, and Jay Zone, even Kanye West, you know. Uh, I, I like to read a lot of books. I like to watch films from Wes Anderson. Yeah. So as an artist, how did they discover you to highlight you as one of the mm. artists? In the documentary. Um, I think one thing to know about the film is that, uh, you know, we're just a, a tight knit group of friends. You know, that's why it made the story so fluid and easy to, like, I like I could talk about Rick and Aquafina and, and Dumbfounded and be brutally honest and, you know, all that. Like, yeah. So I was just, I mean, I I was just there, I guess. <laughs> then I popped up. Yeah. Traveling all over, and you've gotten quite a bit of acclaim from the documentary. Have you noticed that you're getting more attention from music as well as just fans <coughs> of rap? Um, uh, I don't really see that as of yet, but uh, you know, because we just premiered the film last week, but um, uh, hopefully, I get that's the goal. <laughs> I've been trying. I've been trying to, you know, showcase my personality more during the Q and A's as well, you know, and in, in, in interviews such as this. And uh, I hope people can see that I, I'm not very, not a one-dimensional person, like you know the critics said. You know, I have a very multifaceted. I, you know, I paint. <laughs> no, I don't paint. I don't paint. <laughs> well, I have to say, watching your uh, music on the documentary did make me curious, and I will be finding you. For those who are watching the documentary or haven't had a chance, how can they find your music? You can find my music. Um, well, first of all, follow me on Instagram, Snapchat. Uh, SoundCloud, YouTube, everything's a Rex Dizzy, R E K S T I Z Z Y. Um, I put an album out called You Can't Be Serious in January. Um, got a single called Ugly with Kawaii dropping with the video. Uh, yeah, I have a web series called Kawaii for Men as well. Check me out. Thank you. Salute.